What's up? I am Pete Thorne. Today I'm hanging out with my friends from Guitar Center, and we're going to be checking out my PT15 IR signature guitar amplifier from Sir. <laughs> So I got started in this business playing in bands, probably like most guitar players. And then I transitioned into kind of a uh, sideman and session career. I ended up touring with a lot of people like Melissa Etheridge and Chris Cornell and doing that for a number of years. And then sometime around 10 or 15 years ago, uh, YouTube started to be a big thing for me in social media. And I got into making guitar related gear content and lessons and things like that. And as well, I've got two solo records out. So I'm a solo artist as well. I put out Guitar Nerd in 2011, as well as Pete Thorne II in 2018. <laughs> My relationship with Sir started around 2006 or seven with guitars mainly. I had bought a guitar uh, secondhand off of a classified ads uh, section on the internet on a gear forum. And the guitar shipped me all the way across the country and I got it and I opened the case and I thought, oh, this thing looks lovely. I pulled it out of the case and I started playing it. And 45 minutes later, I was still playing and I realized this guitar is in tune and I never tuned it. And so that means it traveled all the way the, across the country in tune, played great right out of the case. That was my first Sir guitar, and I knew I was onto something very special then. So not too long after that, I contacted the company, which wasn't too far from me. They're only about an hour from Los Angeles out in Lake Elsinore, California. And I drove out there and met them, and I was immediately struck by the family vibe and how it's kind of a top-down, uh, family-run operation. And John Sir, you know, being at the helm was just super obsessed with quality. I like nice things. I like things that work well. I like good tools and things that are uh, precision engineered. It just like speaks well, works for my personality. And immediately we bonded on that. I could just tell that quality was the number one most important thing to him. So, you know, we started a, a working relationship and quickly we also became like really, really good friends. And I count him as one of my closest friends to this day. And so it's just a really sort of natural, organic relationship that evolved. And that's how I started working with Sir. first ones to bring an amplifier like this to market, which is basically an all tube amplifier married to a digital back end. What I was thinking was basically like a lot of players out there still love tube amps. They like simplicity. You know, you want more treble, you reach out and you turn the treble knob. It's right there. You don't have to page through a menu. So simplicity, great tone, versatility, all that good stuff that tube amps give you. But also what if we married it to a digital back end so that you get some of the flexibility and the cool options that the digital modelers and things like that these days do give you. So that's what we tried to come up with with this amplifier, and I think we succeeded. If you're a tube amp aficionado, or you just like the simplicity of an amplifier, you've got a true tube amplifier here. I mean, you can plug it into a speaker cabinet, wail through it all day long through speakers, but it's actually got a built-in reactive load box. You don't even need to use it with a cabinet if you don't want to. You can, but it's an option. And if you want to just plug it in direct and get great mic'd up, recorded or live guitar tone, you can do that as well. It's even got a headphone jack on the front so you can plug in headphones and practice. This is the first amplifier, I think, that's all tube to hit the market where you could literally have it backstage you know, warm up, play through your headphones, take the head out, plop it on stage into a cabinet, it's optional or not, run right direct into the PA system and rock out. We've given you basically a super versatile product that has all the simplicity and tone of a tube amplifier with the digital back end that allows you to go direct and get easily great recorded, mic'd up guitar sounds or great live guitar sounds straight to the PA. <laughs> So some of the main features about the amp, it's a three channel all tube amp. It's got a great clean channel and then two drive channels. Now it's rated at 15 watts, but the power amp is engineered for super high headroom and to actually run fairly cool. And it sounds like it's got power beyond 15 watts. I've used it in theaters up to a couple thousand people and I never feel like I need more volume or like I'm running out of headroom. So it's really pretty amazing for 15 watts. It's got a great master, so it doesn't have to be loud. 
but I've never felt like I needed more volume per se. Also, there's a great effects loop in the back, so you can integrate your reverbs and your delays and anything you kind of want to run in a loop post distortion. So that brings me to the built-in impulse responses and the load box. This amplifier has the Sur Reactive Load built right in. What that means is that when you're using the Reactive Load Box, you don't need to use a speaker cabinet if you don't want to. The load box handles the power coming out of the amplifier, loads it down to line level, and sends that signal into our impulse responses. That means you can get great mic'd up killer cabinet sounds either to the PA or direct to your recording interface without anything else required. I mean, it's just literally like a quarter inch line out, plug it right into your recording interface or right into the PA system and you're good to go for mic'd up great cabinet tones. So the amp has 16 impulse responses included, and we partnered with Celestion on these. Some of them are actually ones that I made mixes of. So they're like my personal impulse responses actually. But there's a great selection in there of Celestion cabinets. There's 412s, there's 212s, you got green back speakers, V30s, some of the V types in an open back cabinet. So you got a wide range of impulse responses there. And actually per channel on the amplifier, you can store when you call up the different channels what impulse response you want to pop up. So that means you can have an open back a 112 or 212 for your clean channel. And then you could have a closed back green back style cabinet for your channel two and maybe a V30 cabinet for your lead channel, channel three, whatever you want, it's up to you. So today what we're doing is taking the line out of the amplifier, the direct out with the speaker simulation, we're recording that. And then we've also got the matching PT15 212 cabinet here. This has a Celestion Greenback that we're miking up here in this corner. And then there's actually a V30 in the bottom corner. So you get a blend of different speakers in this cabinet. That's kind of nice as well. So on screen, you'll know whether you're listening to the impulse responses coming out of the amplifier or whether you're hearing the mic'd up speaker in the cabinet. And today I'm playing my Sir PT Signature Standard HSS guitar. This has uh, kind of been my main squeeze as of late. It's uh, basically a, a Sir Thornbucker 2 pickup in the bridge and then two of the V63 three single coils. It's a maple roasted neck and alder body. It's got a killer Wilkinson bridge with lock saddles. Be sure and check out this guitar too. I love this guitar. So I'm gonna play a little bit through channel one right now. This is our clean channel. So this is basically derived from the Sir Bella amplifier and it's an American style clean. It's got a little bit of the very esoteric uh, boutique amp that starts with D. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to you to figure out in the kind of the topology and the lineage. Just a terrific sound and clean channel. I've got the gain on about four right now, the master on about four, you know, 11 o'clock for each. The bass is on about the same on about 11 o'clock and I got the treble just a little bit past noon. There's a bright switch. I'll show you that in a second. And we're we're playing through an impulse response right now of a Sir Bella cabinet. It's an open back cabinet and it's got a Celestion V type in it. Okay, let's check it out. So as you can see, it's just a really pretty clean, the way that I've got it set right now. Got a little bit of delay and stuff in the loop, but you're basically just hearing the amplifier. Once again, the loop works great, so it sounds terrific with the effects in the loop. Let's turn the bright switch on and off so you can hear what it does. So if you wanted a darker clean, you've got that. But I tend to like it most of the time with that bright switch on. And this is with the tone controls, basically with the treble, just once again, a little past noon, bass right up around noon. I mean, it's really balanced and you've got all that range on the controls. We really tuned the amplifier in so you can kind of put everything on noon and start there. And it sounds great. Like, let's actually do that. Let's just put everything on noon and listen to the tone. <laughs> like a beautiful amplifier set like that just sounds really good and then you know your your tone is just like a tweak of a control away okay so now i'm gonna have a little bit of spring reverb going in the effect loop and i'm gonna drive up the clean channel for an alternate clean sound because it sounds really cool when you start driving the preamp of the clean channel a little bit and then i'm also actually going to drive up the power amp as well 
turn it up a little bit and get some of that 6v6 grind going because that's pretty cool. Let's change the impulse response to another IR. Now this is the same speaker cabinet, it's a 112, but this is an IR that I actually made by exporting a couple of different Celestion IRs and developing a custom mix. It's got a little bit of a darker sound, so that'll work well for overdrive. So let's give it a listen and see how it sounds right now. So you can hear the amplifier starting to grind up and drive. Now let's push up the master here a little bit. This is something that keep in mind you can do with IRs that most people who are using speakers maybe can't experiment with because the sound starts getting really loud, right, through the cabinet. But you can experiment with pushing the power tubes of the amplifier if you're using just the direct output and the reactive load and get some power amp distortion really easily, you know, even through headphones or late at night with a baby sleeping in the next room right to your recording interface. It's pretty cool. <laughs> So there you're hearing that real 6v6 grind of the power tubes starting to clip and push it even a little bit further. It's great to be able to get that kind of small amp grind out of it. Okay, so let's move on to channel two. Both the overdrive channels in this amplifier are designed to be like, basically British tone nirvana. That's what we're going for here, is basically your amplifier from England that everybody knows, but tweaked and modded and dialed in to just be perfect tone. So I grew up listening to all the great guitar players of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and so straight up good British crunch tone is kind of where my heart lies. <laughs> That's the kind of sound that is my like desert island thing. What the amplifier primarily for me has to do great. And I really feel like we've achieved that in the PT-15 IR. It's just got a killer, awesome, modded British crunch. That's what channel two really excels at on this amplifier. Now I've only got the gain on about four right now. So there's plenty of range to add more drive to the sound. There's also a bright switch on this channel so I can darken it up a little bit if I want to. Let's try that. <laughs> That might be a little dark now to me, but if I hit the parallel option on my guitar here, it gets a little stringier, almost like a single coil, and this could be just perfect, I think. Right amount of cut. So, you know, you got the option there with the bright switch to be able to fine tune in a few single coils or brighter guitar, or maybe a darker, warmer humbucker, and you need that bright switch on. Now, what we're doing here as far as the impulse response goes, this is a Celestian impulse response of a 412 cabinet with a green back speaker with a 57 and a 121 ribbon mic all mic'd up. So you're getting a great studio quality, awesome 412 cabinet mic'd up with two different microphones coming straight out of the direct output, and you can send that right to a recording interface or the PA, no microphones required, and get just a killer, awesome sound. <laughs> Okay, so let's switch over to channel three now. Channel two and three are basically identical, but because you've got separate gain and master controls for both channels, you can obviously set different drive levels and different volumes. So I usually set the gain higher as well as the volume a little higher on channel three so that I can get a lead boost going. So we're on channel two, gonna switch over to channel three. <laughs> So I got more drive happening, and I've also got the master up just a little bit. Let's bring it up even more so we get a more apparent kind of solo boost going. Now, I'm also switching the impulse response when I change to channel three. So if you listen to the DI out going between channel two and three, you're gonna hear fairly significant tonal variation. And that's because even though it's basically the same channels, you're getting a different impulse response. So in other words, you're getting a custom cabinet. It's your choice which one you wanna use, but you could have say greenbacks for the rhythm sound and V30s for the lead sound, get a little bit more of that mid cut that V30s are known for. Let me go back and forth one more time between two and three. <laughs> So 
let's go back and forth between channel two and three now, and this will be the mic'd up cabinet that you're listening to. Similar, actually, microphones to what you're hearing on the impulse responses. We've got a 57 here today and a Royer ribbon microphone. Okay, let's check it out. I'll start on channel two and then go to channel three. <laughs> So there's a USB port in the back of the amp. That is for loading your own impulse responses. It'll pop up on your desktop, looks like a hard drive, like a little flash drive, and you can literally just drag and drop in your own IRs and try your own. You don't have to, I think we've included some great ones. You may never need to do this, but if you wanna try your own IRs, it's super simple. <laughs> The kind of guitar player I can see using this is somebody that really appreciates tube guitar amplifiers and sound, needs a little bit of that digital stuff uh, in the back end, maybe if they're playing quiet stages or they just wanna have the, the versatility to be able to go direct to record really simply. It's all that in one package. It's simplicity as well as versatility. Right after we designed it, I got one of my first prototypes and I had a session here in LA. I took it to the recording studio and the engineers there at the studio, they'd set up a cabinet for me and had it all mic'd up in an isolated room. And I said, just try this cable. And I took the direct out and handed the guy a cable and they plugged it into the console and pulled it up and said, that sounds great, let's just use that. So that's kind of the idea here is that it's like great instant mic'd up awesome guitar sounds, but made it to a true tube front end. I always try and like balance uh, simplicity as well as versatility in these products that we come up with. That's why there's three channels. That's why you got independent EQs between the clean side and the dirty side. That's why you got individual bright switches on each channel. There's just enough in there to play with that lets you get your personal sounds going, but not enough to be too complicated where you get you know bogged down in manuals and that kind of thing. <laughs> So if you want to check out the PT-15 IR from Sir, please go to guitarcenter.com or contact one of their expert gear advisors or go to your local GC and check it out. I really hope you get a chance to play through it and I hope you dig it. <laughs>